Ladies and gentlemen, first off, happy Mother's Day to all the uh, mother battlers out there, and I guess uh, mothers of battlers. And um, yeah, we're going to be going over a team today from Jason2890. He hit rank 9 on the leaderboard as of today's leaderboards. Um, I made sure to check and just to see if it got updated. I don't know if he went higher than that or not. Um, yeah, but he got up to 3549 with a pretty interesting moveset on a uh, pretty mainstay mon here in again great league remix we're still going um a little bit into our second week now and it's going to be thunderfang steelix so it definitely shores up a few matchups if you run into any fairy types because if you're running steelix you really want to stay in the fairy matchups like alola ninetales which i think is in our first battle of today um but it's kind of an awkward matchup because you're throwing dragon tails, which are double resisted, and you're actually taking neutral damage from, well, so the charms are resisted, but you're taking neutral damage from like the weather ball. But that's just one of the cases. Other cases are just Watermon in general. Um, you do far better against Empoleon. Um, you do much better against Mantine. Double super effective. Fast attack is obviously really good. The only thing you worry about in that matchup anyways is Water Pulse. So, um, yeah. And then the back line is going to be two of my f more favorite neutral mon in, uh, in, uh, Great League Remix. And that's going to be Mandibuzz and Ferrothorn. So, um, let's go ahead and get into the battles, uh, really quick here. I don't want to go too long here. But uh, yeah, there's, there's, the safe swap's going to be different in every matchup, to be fair. You want to kind of just power through the lead in a general sense. So let's go ahead and get into the battles. So again, our first battle is going to be against Alolan Ninetales. And yeah, this makes the matchup so much cleaner. Um, obviously, again, we're resisting the charms, but we're actually doing neutral damage back to them. And we can go for a Psychic Fangs and then maybe a Farm Down. They do end up switching into Sableye. Sableye, a mon that I showcased in the last video, if you haven't checked that out for sure. Um, with Unova Stunfisk. It kind of feels like... Okay, well, let's get back to the Sableye, and then I'll go over that. Um, yeah, obviously, Mandibuzz is very good against this. The return with the Shadow Claws ends up being about half your HP, but you can always win this matchup if you want to. Um, they have to go Shields down. They're probably going to bait on the second one, but you kind of have to respect it if they do go for it. Um, if he had thrown right there, I would have known it was a foul play and definitely just ignored it. They're definitely going to come back in with the Alolan Ninetales here. Um, obviously, we're going to throw Aerial Ace into it. Mandiba is pretty bulky, going to survive three of these um, charms. Fourth one probably going to take us out, but we got the Aerial Ace off. That's fine. And we can come in with the Steelix, try to farm this down. If they do end up switching into a more neutral matchup, I could have thrown this, the Psychic Fang and then let Ferrothorn go into it. But as it stands, Ferrothorn obviously double super effective, being grass against the water and uh, ground typing of Quagsire. All right, Salazzle. I've actually seen an uptick of Salazzle in the last few days. Um, I believe I do have a Salazzle of my own. So maybe I can showcase that one. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to, if you want to see me pick a team with Salazzle. I'm pretty sure I do have one. Again, if I do and y'all want to, I can make that video. Um, they do come in with a Mantine. They have shields down, so I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt. Even if they shield here, I can get to it, or Thunder rather. I can get to another Thunder, and that's fine. If they do come in with Salazzle, I probably do have to switch pretty fast here. So you see, I wasn't throwing a move. I was seeing what they were going to come in with. This is definitely... I, they have a ton of energy, but I figure they're going to go for a Poison Fang and then a Dragon Pulse, which is the moveset it has. So I decided to just take the risk on the 50-50 in that first one because it makes more sense to me. Um, and then they end up coming in with the Steelix here. Um, Steelix, Dragon Tail is good against Mandibuzz, but it doesn't actually have any other good moves against us. So they can go for like Psychic Fangs. Um, if they have Earthquake, it's obviously double resisted. Psychic Fang's double resisted, but it's going to give that Dragon Breath, uh, Dragon Tail rather, a bit more damage. Um, and then, yeah, they could go for Crunch, I guess. But yeah, this matchup's not even that bad for Mandibuzz. And then I try to switch in as soon as possible. This is obviously a Psychic Fangs. They didn't go up to any Earthquakes, which to be fair, I've seen so many steelix with um earthquake now you'll see in the in the later part of the video i'm i play against several steelixes obviously it's a mainstay of this cup like i had said but um yeah 
there's a lot of them with earthquake and i am basically going to shield if they go up to the earthquake I, I respect it now so much the steelix matchup's gotten a tad worse i mean obviously we are going to be double doing double resisted in our fast attack where they're only doing single resisted and i didn't know exactly what to do here but to be fair you could just switch into ferrothorn if you want the only thing is they can go for a psychic fang debuff but you get a ton of energy on the switch anyways so it, it's fine um, they do end up going for that Earthquake there. And I do try to catch this, but I do one extra move. It's my own fault. I played it pretty terrible here, and then they end up baiting. Um, yeah, we go for the Crunch again here. Um, they could shield this if they do want to win this matchup. Uh, but also at the same time, I actually didn't know if they would shield. Um, but you know what? We can go to this. They The only way they're going to KO us is if they still throw an earthquake which means they would be basically out of energy here so i'm gonna let this go through we're gonna get ko'd if it is earthquake it is earthquake and we're gonna come in with ferrothorn um i can not go for a farm down but i can go for a ton of energy here and then if i think they're gonna go up to an earthquake i, I end up just letting him hit us here although i think this was just seven right Oh, no, it is Earthquake. But I get a ton of farm here. Ends up being Carbink in the back. Luckily, they are showing this because if they had come in Carbink into Mandibuzz, obviously, this would have been just absolutely horrific. I'm still trying to go for good timing here to have a chance to maybe go for three. <laughs> yeah, go for three uh, uh, Power Whips here, and then I do get to Power Whip. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing there is they, I, always, I used to watch a lot of basketball. Um, being in San Antonio, I was a Spurs fan growing up. And they were always like, Ginobili, go for three. Anyways, uh, Mantine here, they do, um, uh, they do, if they do have Ice Beam, we're in a bit of a pickle, but we also are outpacing, to be fair, so we could possibly, and they, they end up having Water Pulse. So this is pretty much a win for us um, into the Mantine here. The thing we most have to worry about is possible switch window, but we basically switched at the same time, so... Um, we know when the switch is. Um, also, it's possible I want to go for a little bit more farm, but not too much. Well, I guess I'm just going to go for the aerial ace here, have as much HP as possible, and then get to another aerial ace. Well, how low is... Th it's just the... Oh, yeah, one HP Steelix. I was like, it's just the Steelix. Ferrothorn has become a bit... I guess it's kind of the same matchup. It's not the best. Um... Yeah, and I don't know exactly what to do here in the Ferrothorn matchup, so I decide I'm going to go for Crunch. I'm going to make sure I go for good timing. It is neutral. And then I'll probably switch into my own Ferrothorn to try to catch, I think. So I'll go one Thunder Fang and then switch. I don't end up catching, but that's fine. Uh, he, does stay in up, he does stay in here. If you have a counter to the Ferrothorn, you need to be switching as soon as possible um, because otherwise you're going to eat a lot of these charge moves, uh, and also if they throw a charge move at us with a Ferrothorn, I don't care that much. We resist everything that a Ferrothorn can do, and vice versa. Obviously, it's a mirror match, and they do end up having a grass type in the back with a grass type lead. Not something you see very much. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this before, so this matchup's going to be a while, but to be fair, they're not going to do too much damage to us, so I'm going to go for a little bit extra farm before I throw the next, uh, Thunder into this, which would be the KO. It's not the first Tropius I've seen, that's for sure. I've definitely seen some, if you really want a Toxic team, um, I've seen some Carbink, Tropius with Razor Leaf and Razor Leaf. Why can't I remember the name of the mod? The Shadow uh, Vic Victory Bell. There you go. They end up having a Ninetales in the back, which is not great. Um, I definitely have to shield this. I want to basically throw Psychic Fangs into this and then hopefully let Mandibuzz have a chance to win in the back against both of these Mon. Um, since it's two-turn move against two-turn move, you have to remember they're not actually running Charm. We want to throw Psychic Fang as soon as possible. Um, I'll probably end up shielding this. The tough, I, I think they're going to switch in, and I thought they were going to throw right away, so I decided to switch back into my Mandibuzz. They obviously gained a little bit of energy. They were at 100 energy going into the last matchup, and they ended up having Mirror Shot. And I'm like, okay, wait, I'm great here. I'm going to go up to as much energy as I can, um, at least two aerial aces. Um, I end up throwing really at a bad time here. Um, I didn't realize how much energy I guess they totally had here. Uh, throwing the mirror shots is throwing me off of, of the energy count. I thought they were out, I guess. 
and I end up throwing this aerial ace. Luckily, it doesn't KO. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll just try to farm it. I guess I'll just farm it down so that I have two aerial aces going into the Alolan Ninetales matchup. And they end up switching into the Alolan Ninetales here. I can get to another Psychic Fang, so they do have to throw. And then again, I have two aerial aces, so I'm going to throw back-to-back -back, um, so that they don't have a chance to get to a move here. I think they're actually like two away. Um, they did gain a lot of energy in that Steelix matchup, even though they did throw into us twice. Um, they had a little, I guess they didn't have a ton of energy left, but they probably had one or two. And then it's a question of whether or not they're on the uh, three or four turn cycle. And then we went on time. Giratina, um, I kind of was hoping they would just switch right away. But that's fine. We end up going for the catch on the Shadow Ball here because I know that I can't really take a lot of damage there on the Steelix. Plus, if I go into the Steelix later in the game, hopefully I'll be able to throw that Crunch into the Giratina. Um, I obviously know they're about to try to catch. They would never stay in this Dark versus Ghost matchup for that long, especially when Giratina basically gets one shot by the Dark Bulls. So, yeah. And then I'm on really good timing here for um, Aerial Ace, and it's whether or not they know this is going to be Aerial Ace or if I'm going for the Double Dark Pulse. So they do end up trying, they end up going for the Shield there, and technically I could go for a Shield here, but I'm not going to. And if it is the Mirror Shot, we are going to survive, and I'm just going to throw this Aerial Ace. Again, on bad timing so that I don't get KO'd by that move that came through there, which would obviously KO me, as you see here. And then I'm going to come in with Steelix, which is the ground typing. They're going to only be able to basically throw the Mirror Shot into me, um, obviously we double resist wild charge, so I'm not going to shield anything this does, and we're just going to gain a lot of energy here. Again, they are now shields down, and we're fine going into this Giratina matchup. Obviously we have a uh, crunch for it, um, which is going to be super effective, but again, it's not same type attack bonus, so not going to be able to KO there, but we could get up to the Psychic Fangs here, uh, which would be enough to KO this, um, uh, yeah, from here, even though this is just a neutral move and it's not that great of a move, uh, Giratina is pretty frail in general, and they end up having a Dugong in the back, and that's going to be GG. We do have a shield uh, just in case as well. Dragonite, another matchup that got slightly worse, and then I make a bad switch here, and in the moment, I'm just like, what am I doing? I had the perfect counter to this. Um, yeah, but that's fine. This matchup's also fine. Um, they can definitely get to two. Uh, shadow balls but i get super greedy here and i'm like <sighs> the thing is even as i was playing this out and the reason i kept this in was just to tell y'all like sometimes even i'm playing pretty bad but um yeah it's fine uh we know that at least mandibuzz is okay against the dragonite um and then they end up having an empoleon here and this is where dragonite excels so again with the thunderfang a Dragonite, a Steelix with the Thunder Fang, um, because we can throw this move off, and we have to shield everything that this does, 100%. But, and now it's a question of, they're definitely going to have to switch out. I'm definitely going to get to a um, Psychic Fang here before they can get to a um, Super Power, which would obviously KO. And then I'm just going to sacrifice this Mandibuzz. I'm basically going to throw Aerial Aces because at this point they're already reduced. And even though Aerial Ace is not a great move and Mandibuzz is a very bulky mon, so it's not doing very much damage just generally, it's going to do fine, especially when they're reduced in um, defense. And I th and someone asked in the comments and I commented, but just to let y'all know, when a defense gets lowered or an attack gets buffed by one stage, each stage I believe is 12.5% um increase or decrease to your attack or their defense depending on whether or not it was a defense debuff or an attack debuff so um yeah they come back home with napoleon and yeah i mean that's just gg they have no shield and we do again a magnezone lead that's pretty easy they do end up coming in the sable eye we kind of saw this kind of matchup earlier um yeah and we know how this goes they could go for the return but we are always going to outpace before that next return to a ko even though this move's not going to be the one that KOs, they're obviously going to get KO'd by the second one, and again, we outpace. But most of the time, they do go for, like, a shield and a bait, but apparently this one didn't. Oh, no, no, no. They uh, Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. And this is almost always a bait. Um, but you kind of have to respect it, but they're never going to get to another return, so it's kind of weird. And this is 100% of foul play. They just threw back to back, basically. So I'm going to go for one more and then an airy lace. And um, yeah, they end up switching back into the magnet zone. So I throw this into them. And then I can just come in with uh, the Steelix again and basically go for like the giant farm down. Again, we're not really threatened by anything that this magnet zone can do. So anytime the magnet zone is locked, 
get your Steelix in there because it's it's go time. Steelix with energy is insane. Um, then being down to one Mon with uh, Steelix is also insane. I think the Sableye is still alive here, but I'm just saying in general, and it does end up being the Mantine. Um, they still have a switch to remove these debuffs, but you know, while I have a lot of energy here, I'm going to just go for it, but I know 100% they're going to switch here, but that's fine. Steelix is going to be doing great in this matchup. I still have a shield if they do decide to go for a big move. I'm probably, well, I'm probably going to shield no matter what and throw this Psychic Fangs into them. Uh, it's pretty GG. Uh, we still have a full Ferrothorn in the back, plus we have the Mantine f or Mandibuzz for a, a catch. Plus, Steelix is just going to win this matchup. Steelix just another core breaker. Oh, what I was going to say when I was talking earlier, it does seem like you kind of have to find your steel type um, in this meta. The st not steel, uh, electric type in this meta. The electric types are so core breaking, but they all have their own individual weaknesses and strengths. So find the one that works best for you. Um, this team had Greninja in the lead, which is really awkward because even though I'm doing super effective with the Thunderfangs and Greninja is a very frail Mon, it deals a ton of damage and it definitely outpaces because Water Shuriken is broken. Uh, maybe I should make him a Greninja team. Let me know in the comments. Um, a Greninja has its space and it does a ton of damage, but it is so frail. Um, I do want to see what they're they're bringing in. So they do end up bringing, up, bringing in a Charizard, so I throw the Thunder there. Um, and then I'm just going to get farmed down here, which is not great. But um, probably just come in with the Mandibuzz, maybe. I don't remember exactly what I do here. These, this was at 4 a.m. when I made these battles, and right now I'm, <laughs> I'm recording at 11 a.m. So this was eight hours ago, and I went to sleep in the middle of this. I don't know. I woke up at, like, 2 a.m. and was like, let me do some battles. <laughs> Um, Greninja is uh, very frail, so obviously Aerial Ace is going to do enough here, and Mandib Mandibuzz is very bulky, so it's going to leave the Hydro Cannons here as well. Um, the only thing is, if they're going to catch or not, they end up... Well, wait a minute. If they, are they at a Mon here? I forget where we're at. No, the Charizard's still alive, and then I go for the, basically the, the, the damage there. <laughs> you know, it's just to come in and boop, boop them boop them and then uh that'll be gg i'm gonna shield here if they do bait i don't think that they'll make it to uh another move before i do so yeah and plus look how much the thunder fangs are doing when they're when their defense is reduced i mean charizard uh shadow charizard's amazing oh i just realized they have two super frail mon in that team that's crazy all right glygar lead obviously really bad for um steelix especially steel wind or uh steel wind what is Steel Wind? Is that even a thing? Um, especially with Steel Wing. Uh, of Thunder, uh, Thunder Fang. <laughs> especially with Thunder Fang. Uh, obviously, a double resist. And then I go up to a ton of energy because I figure they're going to switch. And they end up just staying in here. And I'm like, okay, Mandibuzz is good against this. They end up going for the shield, but I can go for another move here. I might live the next Aerial Ace. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure I do. But it's a question of if I can live the other attacks after that. So... It's a little risky, so I decide, you know what, I'll shield here. They already shielded once as well, so I'm just trading a shield for a shield, and I'm pretty sure Aerial Ace is going to be enough. And if it's not enough, I think one Snarl will be enough, and they're not quite at the move yet. Actually, it does not end up being enough, and whatever. I'll come in with Steelix. I let it go. Um, we ended up losing Switch here, which is not fantastic, but hopefully they just didn't have an answer for Mandibuzz, which maybe means that... Um, oh, wow, I actually come in with Ferrothorn? That's interesting. I guess I didn't think I could just farm all the way down, or I just thought Ferrothorn was going to be good against everything in the back, which is, I think, what I just said anyways, even though I forgot what this battle was all about. Um, and yeah, obviously, it's very good against Cresselia. I'm going to go for extra energy. Obviously, seems like... I don't know what's in the back, so it's got to be... So Cresselia is obviously weak against both. Um, it, it's got to be something that's good against Steelix, though, but bad against Mandibuzz. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that's going to be. Maybe it's like a Quagsire with Aqua Tail Mud Bomb. That could be something. Um, yeah, I really forgot. We're all going to be on the edge of our seats here. Uh, just the same, because uh, I don't remember. Y'all don't know. Let's see if he lets this go, if he shields. If he shields, it's wild. Okay, what's he got in the back? Oh, he has his own Ferrothorn. Okay, that's when I decide right away. I'm just going to sacrifice this Steelix. Um, it's their last Mon, so all I'm going to do is actually throw the Psychic Fangs at this and let my Ferrothorn go into his Ferrothorn 
but mine's gonna have a non debuffed and um, so hopefully I'll put it in like thunder range technically my Ferrothorn's not in thunder range right now it's very close but it's not quite there um, and I think I'm gonna live this anyways oh my god I remember this game guys remember it's 4 30 a.m. for me you can't um, <laughs> you can't judge me for such terrible things there uh, probably this thunder would have well, actually, I think it wouldn't have mattered because that Thunder wouldn't have KO'd. I still have the shield. Okay. You know what? I'm going to give myself a pass, even if y'all don't. It's 4.30 a.m. Um, <laughs> you can't be playing with all your faculties at 4.30. But I do end up going, I believe, 5.0 in this last set. So you, you can't judge me too bad. Okay. Empoleon lead. Obviously, you can Psychic Fangs. All, I don't think you can Psychic Fangs all the way down, but you can definitely um, go for a uh, Crunch later. Uh, they end up bringing in this superior, so I'm like, I'm going to just charge all the way up, charge my lasers, and then I'm going to come into this dominant matchup. Probably it's better to throw Frenzy Plant, I would think, as superior. Superior is another mon I want to try out, but it's kind of like a boring mon, so I've kind of kept it off my uh, off uh, what I've played so far this season in, um, I don't know. I do want to try it out. It is interesting, uh, but it... it it does feel like not as good as it could be. Um, oh, I remember. I do remember this team, though, because it's very unique. Um, yeah, and he ends up double shielding. I'm like, that's crazy. I think he's going to try to catch on the on this next one because Switch will definitely be up. Um, ends up coming in with the Empoleon, and I decide, um, you know what? Maybe I can just farm it down. <laughs> or maybe I can hit it and just farm it down, and I go for the peekaboo play here again. Boop boop them, and then I go to, into the superior, I go for the crunch, I think it'll probably get KO'd on the next psychic things, oh no, I'm gonna need another crunch, but I have a lot of energy, so then I throw here, bad timing, but um, I want to basically go into that last mon and be able to debuff it, so that's why I expend a shield here and allow for the steelix to survive, and then I go for a bit of an undercharge just so I can get a little, a little bit of extra farm there, ends up being a Venusaur, and the timings are just so horrific for me. He gets there at the exact same time as me here. It KOs me here. Um, I end up coming with the Mandibuzz because I'm like, okay, well, surely I can get to an Aerial Ace. Um, ends up, and then I'm on a four turn, so ends up getting to there at the exact same time. Again, and I get KO'd because even if it's a Frenzy Plant, it's enough to KO me. And then I'm like, okay, I'll come in with a Ferrothorn. Ends up being technically worse, though, because they were on a five cycle there. I guess over the course of the match, it doesn't matter that much. But they're on a five cycle now. Um, if they want to go Frenzy Plant, obviously they're going to Sludge Bomb. But it doesn't really matter. Ferrothorn's dominating this matchup. Definitely a unique team. I don't think I've seen Venusaur at all in this cup. Um, but it can definitely, it definitely has some play. Obviously, it's good against Steelix. It has play against the counters just because it has such strong moves. And then. I, you see a difference in how I play the Steelix matchup. And this guy's got Shadow Hypno, which is wild. And I'm like, the only reason he brings Shadow Hypno into Ferrothorn is if he has Fire Punch. So I actually decide I could throw I could have thrown right there, but I want to I want to have extra energy because if he ends up coming back in with Steelix, I want to have extra energy. And it ends up being Ice Punch. And I'm like, okay. Ice Punch doesn't counter ferrothorn so i'm gonna let this go through and hope he doesn't have double punch where he baited the first punch which would have been next level but i figure most hypnos are probably running shadow ball um it's a little bit more neutral in this but the secondary move is ice punch is interesting i guess it makes sense to, to hit the flying types and to slightly hit the um like mantine and slightly hit the steelix and um, technically super effective against Mandibuzz. I mean, I guess it's good coverage for the bad matchups. I'm going to get to another Power Whip here. They're probably going to end up shielding this. And then I probably can come in Mandibuzz, to be honest. Um, I don't want to get hit by an Earthquake, and Mandibuzz kind of counters all this energy. We kind of just want him to throw all his energy into this Mandibuzz. Um, I think he goes for a Psychic Fang here. And I think he goes for another Psychic Fang here which is literally doing nothing to me. I double resist it, but you know, they're getting improvements on their dragon tails and he goes for a third one here. And then I think I just switch because <laughs> I'm, I'm done 
with being debuffed there. And now I'll just farm up. I'm not going to throw anything. This is another Psychic Fang. Again, I resist this. I have a shield. I have a ton of energy on Mana Buzz. Hopefully that energy is able to... Oh, it ends up being a crunch. Hopefully that energy ends up coming into play. Um, I'm going straight for the farm down here. This is definitely another crunch. So I think I'm going to shield it. Um, yeah, and I have a ton of energy with everything. And now it ends up being its own... It ends up being their own Mana Buzz. But they're locked in now. Whereas I am not locked in, and I can go for um, I go for the crunch here just to do damage because I do want to make sure that I can definitely KO this with aerial aces, and it looks like it's going to be in two aerial ace range here, especially debuffed ones. I think they actually did get the debuff or the defense debuff uh, from crunch, and I actually went away. I thought I was doubled up there, which but it's fine. I'm not in any danger here. I'm at seventy percent. It would take like four. Um, I just realized there's Steelix is still alive. I hope I do remember that here at 5 a.m. <laughs> All right. I think it's probably GG. Yeah, there was a long wait there. Yeah, they, they late closed out of the game. And now I'm like, well, they're on HP, so I win this. Yeah. I think that was the last game. Yeah. Awesome. All right, thank you for uh, watching those battles. This was definitely a very unique team. Jason2890 is obviously known for his ABA teams and being on page one of the leaderboard. I think he's ended every... I can't say for sure every season. I know he's ended the last 10 seasons for sure on page one of the leaderboard. So obviously he knows how to build teams that have, that have staying power. Um, yeah, and I think this team was really good. I think Thunderfang, Steelix... Definitely hits a lot of things um, a little bit better, giving it more efficiency into the matchups that it's supposedly good against, and giving a little bit of play into the matchups that it's kind of bad against. Like, really, Empoleon's the one that's really coming into my mind. Um, and then, obviously, again, having played against Alola Ninetales when at first, it's obviously still fine for you, I think. I don't actually know. I haven't played that matchup out, but. With Dragon Tail, it can definitely get dicey, being double resisted against the fairy typing. Um, yeah, and I, I had a fun time playing this team, and I think for sure finding your Electric Mon in this cup is the whole cup because Electric kind of is a core breaker to almost all of the mainstay meta. So finding the one that is fits for you is the is the true I think skill of this meta. And um, this is definitely one that works out. If you want to check out the Unovan Stunfisk video, definitely check that one out. I think it'll be at the end of this video in probably the next 15 seconds. Um, uh, but yeah, if you don't like Unova Stunfisk, this is another way to go. And also there's Shadow Magnezone as well. So um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video, and if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out, and if you want another video on this same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there, and I'll see you in the next one.